But first, our top story here at 5 o'clock, it has been a deadly start to the new year. The police department here in Charlotte already investigating two homicides that happened less than two hours apart. Hello, everybody, and thank you for staying with us for the news at 5 o'clock. I'm Bill McGinty. And I'm Savannah Levins. Round 3 this morning, a man was found shot to death outside a home on Highlander Court. Then at 4.30, a man was shot multiple times in the driveway of his West Charlotte home. He was rushed to the hospital hospital, but unfortunately did not make it. NBC Charlotte's Tanya Mendez live at 5 o'clock for us. Tanya, do police have any leads in either of these cases? No leads in either case, Bill, and that's really disturbing for police because they were really hoping to crack down aggressively on homicides. So to have two happen just hours into the new year, not the start they wanted. Just hours into 2019. Bam, 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 bam. And already, two separate homicides in Charlotte, two men shot and killed in front of their own homes. This is obviously not how we were hoping to start out 2019. Here on Highlander Court. That he heard six shots. They were so loud they shook the house. The victim, 53-year-old Carnes Poindexter, a man who's seen his fair share of trouble before, just this summer arrested along with his wife, son, and son's girlfriend for allegedly kidnapping and torturing a teen at their home for days. I think it was a hit. I think that's what I, my personal opinion, I think it was a hit. Neighbor Mike Edwards is a retired sheriff's officer. I said, what the hell had just happened? I've been here 18 years. We've never had this kind of problem. Just an hour after Poindexter was found dead on his front porch, another driveway riddled with bullets, where 37-year-old Nathan Roberts was gunned down while sitting in his car. In both cases, the shooter still on the run. So CMPD is hoping to make some improvements, kind of like what they did last year. So last year they saw a 30% drop in homicides. They're hoping this year that trend will continue because we saw the highest amount of homicides on record two years ago or the highest that they'd seen in more than a decade, something that CMPD is working really aggressively on to try to not repeat heading into 2019. Reporting live, I'm Tanya Mendes, NBC Charlotte. All right, Tanya, thanks very much.